Hey there guys, Crystal here, back with another how-to for the newest Animal Crossing game. I love this game, I love this series. I've been playing it since I was 9 years old on the GameCube. While back then I couldn't quite understand the majesty that is this series, I still tried. Today I come into the newest game with some veteran knowledge from years of playing previous titles. So without further ado, I'm going to explain how to earn Mega Bells, if you couldn't already read the title, in Animal Crossing New Leaf. So let's start off with the basics. The majority of this how-to will be spent on the island. Make sure you have the island unlocked by paying off your first house loan and speaking to Tortimer on the town dock. The next day the island will be open for you. Next, before heading to the island, make sure your town ordinance is the Bell Boom Ordinance. You don't have to, but it increases your profit by around 100,000. You're going to want to head to the island anytime after 7 p.m. Going after 11 p.m. is probably best, but let's just do this early. Pay Captain the thousand bell fee, don't worry, it's worth it, and head to the island. Head outside and speak to Lloyd the Gyroid to borrow some tools. You'll only need the fishing rod and the bug net, unless this is your first time on the island, in which case borrow the axe and chop down any non-palm trees. Now you're ready to get started. I find going around in a clockwise motion gives you more of a chance to see if a bug's nearby. Slowly start checking around all the trees and catching any bugs on the palm trees. They're all worth a lot. If you happen to see a gold stag, go extremely slowly as they scare easily but are worth a lot. I find that you don't have to be too close to the tree to catch the bugs. Just edge towards the shadow of the palm tree and you should be within striking distance. Experienced catchers can try from the side. If you see a fin sticking out of the water, switch to your fishing rod and reel it in. Catching sharks is easy when you know what timing is needed. To make it even easier, turn up your volume and close your eyes. Reel it in when you hear the louder plop. Now, why exactly did I tell you to chop down all those trees and only catch palm tree beetles? The islands can only spawn five bugs at a time. With the trees and bushes gone, the other tree bugs and butterflies can no longer spawn there, giving you more of a chance to encounter beetles. If you see bugs scuttling around in the sand, scare them away with your net, as they add to the five bug total too. So, how much are these bugs worth? Well, there are around six to be found. The Cyclomantis stag is 8,000 bells. The Golden stag is 12,000 bells. The Goliath beetle is 6,000 bells. The Horned Atlas is 8,000 bells. The Horned Elephant is 8,000 bells. And the Horned Hercules is 12,000 bells. If you're fast, you can fill up the bin a total of 40 spaces in less than 30 minutes. How much can you make? Well, if you don't have the Bell Boom Ordinance, around 300,000 bells. With the Boom Ordinance, that number is closer to 400,000 bells. Not too bad for 30 minutes work. You can increase your profit by a smidge by catching any sharks you see along with the beetles. The whale shark is 13,000 bells. The hammerhead shark is 8,000 bells. The saw shark is 12,000 bells. The ocean sunfish is 4,000 bells. And the shark is 15,000 bells. Ocean sunfish are pretty common, but don't even outprice any of the beetles. Unless you're in a hurry, I'd say throw it back in and catch something better. So, this strategy only works at night. What's that? What if you want to make some bells during the daylight hours? Well, you have some other options at your disposal, although they aren't as quick and may not pay out as well. Try selling perfect fruit. The only perfect fruit that can grow in your town is your native fruit. For example, I started out with cherries in my town, so they are the only perfect fruit I can grow despite having all these other species. Check the sign outside retail every day to see what they will pay extra for. Occasionally perfect fruit will go up, and that's your chance to make tons. You see, your town's native fruit sells for very little. Other non-native fruit sells for a bit more. Perfect fruit sells for a lot more, and selling a non-native perfect fruit is like winning a jackpot. But how are you supposed to get non-native perfect fruit if it won't grow in your town? Simple trade. See if your friends have any different species on offer an equal trade. Don't have any friends who play Animal Crossing? Try going online and seeking out Animal Crossing message boards and the like. Many people there would be thrilled to trade with you. 
You could also, for a quick and last buck, break the fake rocks around town to get gems. Hit the money rock with either a normal or a silver shovel to get bells or gems. This is great for people who are just starting out and can't yet do the island trick. Another method a lot of people overlook, myself included until recently, is the stock market. Buying and selling of turnips. Speak to Sao Joan when she appears in your town every Sunday morning and buy some turnips off of her. Try a hundred or so if you're new and not feeling terribly confident. Then check retail every morning and evening, the prices change from AM to PM, and sell it higher than you paid for them. Sounds easy, right? Well, sometimes the price just keeps going down, and in that case it's best to sell quickly at a minimal loss, like I am now. Many avoid the stock market simply because of how unpredictable it is. Try supplementing the stock market with the island bugs and you should come through just fine. Of course, Animal Crossing has many different ways to earn bells, but I've named off some of the more common and reliable ones. I hope you enjoyed this how-to, and I'll see you next time. Bye! If you like this video, then why not like, comment, and maybe even subscribe? I've included links to my two other Animal Crossing videos. Check them out if you're interested. I've also included my dream address, so feel free to visit Curve Town anytime you'd like. This has been Simply Press Start, where gaming is as simple as pressing start.